<laughs> I thought it was so funny. It was I didn't mind working for him. <laughs> he and his wife were somewhat nice. <laughs> But when anytime somebody's going to say, well, I'm going to find out who you are, and you you actually tell the person who you are, and you're like, oh, I don't know what you're going to find out, because I was <laughs> completely truthful of what I did tell them. <laughs> now, um, could you get me all the pool halls and all the professional pool players, <laughs> all those that have pool tables? <laughs> now, these uh, Bill of Rights, yes, <laughs> I think it's somewhat important. And uh, <laughs> without jurisdiction of the law, yeah, <laughs> more than likely you violated quite a few of them. <laughs> now, I had documented that you violated all of them. Yes. <laughs> now, see this Big Brothers and Big Sisters of America is a nonprofit social welfare organization coordinates the programs of hundreds of agencies in the United States. <laughs> Why don't you get me all their employees? <laughs> it seems that you decided to modify the protection order so that I could not go to a Big Brothers or Big Sisters. <laughs> I did mention I was going to sue you for that, but since I realized that you violated the original jurisdiction of the actual court in Guam, yes, I'm going to sue you for issuing a court order. Now, maybe you could call the CEO of the Big Brothers and Sisters because I had known numerous individuals that were volunteers there. Yes, yes, yes. But you continue to perpetrate the crime fraud of issuing court orders using forgeries? Yes. And uh, as an American citizen, I'm actually not a child abuser, and I, I didn't commit any domestic violence. Pooh. I did seven hours of parenting classes. Yes. Now, I just wanted to know, uh, First Baptist Church of Squim, mm -hmm. and then Squim Boys and Girls Club, 400 West 1st Street. Yes. Mm -hmm. A thousand feet. I thought it was 500 feet. I was reading someplace that a thousand feet is actually twice as money. <laughs> now, do you have to enforce the law at your discretion? Okay. <laughs> but why don't you give me all the donors to the big boys, uh, big, big brothers and big sisters of America? <laughs> then every child in every computer from 20 miles down in every email address of every individual involved. Now... As a citizen, yes, without the actual jurisdiction of the law, you've obstructed my right to volunteer at a charity. Oh, oh, oh. And I'm not that good Christian. I actually did do some Bible reading about the false accusations of Jesus, <laughs> his actual crucifixion. Yes, where they beat the shit out of him. Yes, they took all his personal items. <laughs> It really wasn't a nice trial. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I've had some difficulty with this court recognizing that <laughs> it's not that I went to a Bible college. You know, I was reading the Bible before I went to college. <laughs> Something I did on my own personal, um, it was my own personal initiative. Yes. <laughs> I decided to read it for myself. Good for you. <laughs> Nobody had to tell me to read it. <laughs> Now, there is what's known as bigamy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the crime of a man or woman commits by being married to two people? <laughs> I mentioned that. Uh, Judge Rohr. <laughs> Did I tell you that I'd like to divorce my wife? Because when I consider the original jurisdiction of the arrest that took place, yes. <laughs> and then the issuance of the dissolution of marriage where you did not give me any actual due process. Yes. <laughs> if I had told you that my record was expunged and that uh, the arrest record was sealed, yes. Would you have considered the custody of my sons? Now, there's going to be a lawsuit in this one. So, as soon as any judge or court commissioner finds out that you have wrongfully taken custody of my sons from me, yes, and then you're obstructing me from uh, divorcing my wife, yeah, because she concealed that I no longer had a criminal record, yes, mm -hmm. I want you to remove your fucking disillusion of marriage. Now, um... The Boys and Girls Club of America is um, complicit in obstructing my right to volunteer at a charity. And this court, this state, and the United States has the knowledge that you never had any jurisdiction of law 
to obstruct my rights as a father. <clears throat> now, this morning I mentioned that I could have been involved in my son's lives <clears throat> from approximately three months after the arrest, <clears throat> but you decided. So I don't want to commit bigamy. So I want you to remove your fraud. Now, this whole concept of bigamy, oh, um, I never got a dissolution of marriage. I was never able to admit that the case was dismissed right. I was not found guilty of any wrongdoing. Yes. In fact, I did some study. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll get that in just a second. There's uh, also what's known as the Beetle. Yes. Could you call the Rockefellers for me? Pow, pow. Mm -hmm. I know that I talked to you about the Rothschilds, and <laughs> there was a certain somebody that I had 160,000 Beatles. Yes. Did they actually settle the estate of uh, Rockefeller Sr.? Yes. Because I might want to put a claim in. Okay. <laughs> so just give me all the creditors of the Rockefeller family, just like Paul Allen's estate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I wanted to know every individual that received any of the estate of John D. Rockefeller Sr. <laughs> and then who was it that got all his beetles? <laughs> because I think I would sue the estate right now. Excuse me, Rockefeller family. <laughs> I'm going to need to have a copy of the actual estate of John D. Mm -hmm. And all of the creditors, ouch, and all the heirs. <laughs> because as I remember it, <laughs> oh, what just happened here? The Bermuda Triangle. No, the Devil's Triangle. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say, mm -hmm. If you say devil, it's somewhat satanic. <laughs> it's like saying, if you said Jesus, it's somewhat holy. <laughs> but um, there's this triangle towards Bermuda. Yes. Could you find out all the ships that are in there? <laughs> Some, the USS Cyclops vanished. Yes. In 1918. <laughs> And a squadron of five U.S. Navy bombers disappeared in 1945? Yes. I find that hard to believe. Now, I talked to you about the Navy, didn't I? Yes, he did. You've been losing ships and planes in the Bermuda Triangle as if there was some significance. Of Could you get me the Bermuda Triangle? You know, every time that the Navy says, oh, we lost a few aircraft or we lost a ship at sea, I'd be like, no, you didn't. What the fuck is that?